What's up guys and good morning. I'm really excited and I know a lot of you guys are tuning in because you're ready to see us start building the garage and we've got a call from BMC and our lumber kit is gonna be delivered tomorrow. But in this video, we are gonna get the lumber kit delivered and hopefully we are gonna start framing. Just depends on if they, you know, if they deliver the lumber kit at 5 p.m. Probably not gonna start framing, but they might deliver it in the morning. I'm gonna try and call them and say, hey, please put us on the very earliest part of your schedule so that we can start framing in the morning. <sighs> it's just, spring is here, lumber's coming, we're building the garage, very excited. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, a lot going on today, and let me just say, <laughs> Trent's really excited, he's not gonna tell you. Because I don't know if you remember a couple videos ago, we were looking at um, a hobby truck rock crawler. A project. A project. I don't have enough projects. He's gotten some more information and he's gonna go check it out again today. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know I don't know if we even like showed it in the video, but basically there's this Toyota Tacoma that uh, has been completely totaled. It's been like crashed, the front end is absolutely destroyed. Which for normal people is a huge like, ooh, I don't wanna touch that with a 10 foot pole. For Trent, that's like the perfect car. <laughs> I wanna make a rock crawler out of it. And so I have to like completely remove the whole front end suspension and that's most of what's damaged. There's also some body damage and some broken windows and it looks like somebody was maybe living in it. It's basically a, a pile of junk, but it's also really, really cheap and the motor runs and it sounds really nice. So. I think I might go for it. So we are gonna be dividing and conquering today. Allie actually has a bunch of editing to do and she's gonna stay here and hang out with Leo and I'm gonna be heading into the shop, be checking on what the guys are doing on the van. All right, Leo, are you ready for the day? Yeah. Are you ready for the day? Are you so happy? Yeah. <laughs> you're kicking, you're just so happy. I'm about an hour behind schedule right now. I'm gonna jump in the truck. I've gotta to run to Home Depot. I've gotta pick up wood for the drawer faces. Then when I get there, we're gonna cut them up make some drawer faces, solve some problems, maybe you go pick up a truck. Also, uh, for the business, we have some other vans that we need to go look at, so just to say my day's gonna be jam-packed. All right, Leo, it's you and me. Oh, you're just all over the place. Hello, little baby, hello. We are setting up this house into summer mode. I'm taking the firewood down. I think I'm putting Lika's crate in that place. Are you gonna help? Okay. All right, we're gonna do that first. We'll go from there. On my way to a weekend rumble, I forgot to check where the party was at. Roaming around without any trouble, I began to ask everybody I met, singing, oh, oh, oh. There he is. I'm late, all right. I'm late. I told you guys I was running a little bit behind, it's true. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. Just a shot away from the corner where I used to play with my friends as a kid. I saw a man with a pulled up collar playing banjo with an invisible stick singing. Oh, 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 So now that those guys are squared away and they can continue working in the shop, Brandon and I are running to uh, Lowe's. We're gonna grab some wood for our drawer faces and uh, maybe make another pit stop along the way. We've got, uh, we've got a lot going on today. Check that one. We've got three boards that are relatively straight, relatively smooth, pre-primed. We gotta go rip them down, cut them into size, take them up home, paint them, install them. But we've still gotta go look at the Toyota Tacoma. made it back here to Mountain Made Vans. These guys have been hard at work. They've got another hole cut in our really expensive van. There's gonna be two, there's gonna be two roof fans or two, yeah, roof fans? There's gonna be two roof fans in this van. There's gonna be one above the bed and one in front. That way one can blow in and one can suck out and you can get a nice good ventilation of air, which is really necessary on those hot summer nights. 
So that van is underway. They're gonna get those uh, fans installed here shortly. Brandon and I have made it back here with our primed boards. Brandon's gonna start cutting those into sections and I'm gonna be running them through the table saw. We should be done with this in just a few minutes. And then I think the guy's gonna call me so we can go look at the Toyota Tacoma. And uh, it is absolutely destroyed, but I'm really excited to go pick it up. Every season, till the end of the world. All the money. All right, we've basically made it over here to what is a gnarly little junkyard. <laughs> but this is where the Tacoma is parked and the guy that owns it is in this tow truck over here behind me. And uh, we're gonna go take another little once over, look at it, check it out, make sure everything's cool. I already came and looked at it yesterday, but if everything's you know, how I remember it and I don't see any like crazy red flags, we're gonna have him uh, pick it up on a tow truck and take it up to our house. There's uh, some like legit A-arm damage. I won't need any of those things for what I'm gonna use it for. I'm excited to get it. It starts and it runs well. It needs a lot of work. And I'm excited to do it. Are you ready to go see Nana? Yes. All right, it's been a super productive day over here. I've gotten so much work done. Um, I've gotten some updates from Trent that his day continues to just spiral out of control. It's really exciting. Um, it's a lot to process. I'm really overwhelmed. So I'm trying to just take a step back and focus on what we have going on here, which is heading down into the valley because some very special people have just arrived in town. <sighs> Let's go see them. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations so, Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you so my parents and my brother are visiting and Michael hasn't seen Leo since he was four, four weeks old. He left at Christmas. That's right. So this is gonna be a huge, huge visit for my brother. It's the Nana! Hi! Yay! Yay! Hi. It's so good to see you. Are you gonna so wake up for us? You got bigger. You got bigger? Yes. <laughs> Can you say hi, Nona? Hi. <laughs> Uncle returns. Yay, it's so good to see you. Let's get in. Yeah, just right. now. Do you remember Uncle Mike? Hi. It's Uncle Mike. Mr. Leo, look how big you are. The last time you hey. saw him, Michael, I think he was two months old. Yeah, December. Oh, my buddy. Who is that? Do you remember me? Christmas <laughs> time? It's like the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. Sweet baby. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <sighs> All right, well, guys, here's the title for a brand new, basically totaled Toyota Tacoma that uh, was extremely cheap, considering I could probably sell the motor for the same price that I just paid for that truck. And uh, the motor's in good shape, so got a lot of work. We're gonna park it out front of the house until we've got a nice little spot to put it, and you know, Allie's probably gonna kill me, but we're happy. And now we're actually going somewhere very, very exciting. We're heading to the Mercedes dealership.
So we're here at the Mercedes dealership. I'm actually up here picking up a new van. This is gonna be heading down to the van build business and let's just say there's some really cool plans for it. So probably my least favorite part of buying a car or doing anything in a dealership is all of the waiting. And I always try and set things up ahead of time so that when I get here, it can be like as streamlined as possible, but finance and all that stuff just takes a really long time and they have to fill out tons of paperwork and you just end up sitting around for a while. So we're going to go out and uh, check out the van and uh, maybe do a little bit of a tour while they're doing some of the paperwork. As soon as he gets back, I'm going to grab the keys and take you guys out there. Well, this is like really exciting, but I'm like, I really want everyone else to see this. I want Matt and Bryce to see this van. I want Allie to see this van, but I'm really the only one here. And even Brandon left. So Brandon got to like, kind of put his eyes on it before he took off. But this thing looks totally awesome. Like, let me just get some more shots of the outside. Like I'm really used to just looking at the two wheel drive van that is like uh, back at our shop right now. And it is, a two wheel drive van. So it's a lot lower to the ground. So this four wheel drive van is much higher up off the ground. So it already feels like this big lifted van. And you guys obviously know how I feel about, you know, lifting vehicles and putting bigger tires on them. And this one's already got it. So it's gonna be a really, really cool van when it's done. Hello. Oh my goodness. How does it feel? It feels pretty nice. I would say that, uh, it's a cargo van, so like it has really comfortable seats, but like they're manual seats, they're not power seats. And it has like the smaller radio than like the other vans have because it's like the cargo van. Right. So there's like some downsides, but I think it's uh it's pretty legit. That's really cool. Yeah. I'm in the back. No. Oh nice. <laughs> That's good, hi. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, well, I just wanted to uh, kind of touch base with you. They're probably ready for me to go in and start doing paperwork, so I got to try and get all this done. All right, uh, keep, keep me updated. Everything sounds awesome and exciting. I'm just a little nervous about what we're doing here, but hopefully yeah. it's all good. I'm sure it will be. Always is. Okay. All right. Okay. Love all right. You. I love you. Good luck. All right, bye-bye. All right, bye. As you guys can tell, Allie's also excited about this van. Uh, we have this opportunity basically come up today that this, the buyer fell through for this van, so we decided to jump on it. And I really think that uh, we're getting a steal of a deal here. This Mercedes dealership is really hooking us up because we've made a good relationship with them through Mountain Made Vans. And there's just cool things in store for this van. So I'm gonna go ahead and head inside and finish up the paperwork and see you guys in a bit. usually before anybody wakes up is to come downstairs and have my AG1 by Athletic Greens. And Athletic Greens is the sponsor of today's video. AG1 has been part of our daily routine for over two years. It's a nutritional drink that is both convenient and comprehensive with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced superfoods in one convenient daily serving to support gut health, immunity, energy, recovery, focus, and aging. It's one scoop, once a day, every day, and it's the most convenient, best thing that you can do for your health. If you haven't tried AG1 yet, now's the perfect time. Click our link in the description and you'll get a one year supply of their immune supporting vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. Thanks again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna finish up my morning ritual and we're gonna get started for the day. Oh, good morning, guys. We are just waking up and it's a gorgeous, clear, sunny, warm day today. Last night was incredible. We spent the evening with my family, just relaxing, spending time together, hanging out, catching up, letting my brother reconnect with Leo, who he hasn't seen since Leo was like four or five weeks old. Obviously, a lot has changed in Leo's life in that time. And uh, honestly, just enjoying each other's company. We were there for most of the evening. We got home really late last night. And this morning is a big day. It's the day we've all been waiting for. We are really excited. 
and now we're just waiting for a couple things to happen to fall into place before hopefully by the end of today, we can start framing the garage. The birds are out, the animals are coming back. It's definitely springtime on the mountain. Um, but before we get started today, there's something down at the bottom of our driveway that <laughs> I should be surprised, but honestly, this is such a typical Trent move. <laughs> This truck doesn't drive, it's falling apart, it's completely destroyed, and in Trent's eyes, it's absolutely perfect. He is so excited, and uh, I think it will be a fun project. I think it will be a big project. I don't know when he's gonna have time for this project, but he's really happy, so I don't see the harm in that. <laughs> the only problem is, the tow truck driver dropped it off in the road, the bottom of our driveway. So not only does it not drive, but now we have the added excitement of trying to get it up here somehow. Hopefully by the end of today, the driveway will be clear that we can somehow get it up onto our property. We need to uh, save a lot of space for a couple other big deliveries that are happening today before we can move the taco. Nice to meet you, I'm Allie. So nice to meet you. This is Leo. Hi, Leo, baby boy. Hi. How are you? This is Ricky. Hi, Ricky. This Hi. is Miss Allie. Nice to meet you. And this is Bubba. Hi, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Good, I forgot I had to unload this. <laughs> yeah, we were like, where is he going? <laughs> you can put it over your shoulder, just one hand it. Kind of heavy. <laughs> so Brandon stopped at UPS this morning on his way in and picked up our couch to replace the couch in Terry because Lika and her puppy phase destroyed the couch in Terry. So just like we're doing with Pamela 1.0, we're replacing a bunch of components and kind of just refurbishing, rejuvenating Terry before we get her ready to be sold. But first thing before we get started today is we're actually giving these guys our shelter logic, which has served us really well over the last couple of years. And they are in the middle of a build themselves and hopefully this will come super in handy for them uh, throughout the winter and as they're getting ready to build their own house. Do you guys want to say hello? Hi, how are you guys? And where can they find you on YouTube? We are Life Elevated Off Grid. We are Southern Utah, yeah. so check us out. <laughs> Give them a follow. They're awesome, and uh, hopefully their shelter log, our shelter logic. Now it's your shelter logic. Yes. Works well for you guys. The shelter logic's gonna be awesome. It's gonna hold our snowmobiles, oh, cool. our wood, nice. our tractor, probably our can am. Nice. We'll see how big we can make this exactly. shelter logic. <laughs> Puppy, get him, get him. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? Good, good. Hey, it's Dana. Hi. Yay. Everyone is here today helping and hanging out. Our friend Dana is actually here and helping watch Leo. Hey, how you doing? Oh, what happened? That's my new look. It's a pirate. Pirate look. <laughs> Really hard to look out of those. That Johnny Depp trial is really getting to you. <laughs> yeah, drive safe. Yeah. Good luck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah. Bye. Thank you.
Well, it was really nice meeting uh, Nick and Jen. If you guys don't follow them, you guys should go check them out. It was really nice meeting them. They seem really cool. And we're really glad to be rid of the shelter yeah. logic. And uh, they did us a favor. Really. They did Actually, they did do us a huge favor. So now uh, we're basically just waiting for BMC to show up with our lumber so that we can start building the garage. But there are a couple things that we need to do before we can even start with the lumber. And that starts with snapping lines and squaring everything up wow. to actually start uh, installing all the green plate. Yay! I'm really nervous. <laughs> what, are you gonna shift your green plate off of the foundation? That's what you do. Huh. It's called squaring up your... Perfect. This was uh, my job last year, and that's why our house is a hair out of square. This was before Brandon started to actually, come help us. Actually, Kevin did this. Though. Okay. So, thanks, Kevin. <laughs> our, building, our building was nice and square because of Kevin. <laughs> before we do anything, Brandon, you were there yesterday when actually this was your idea to go pick up this uh i won't call it a piece of poop but it doesn't run it, it is, doesn't it's a piece of garbage it runs fine it's a piece of garbage it doesn't drive it doesn't drive <laughs> i heard trent say he wanted to do a rock crawler i saw that hunk of junk driving down the road and i said hey that would be perfect so i let him know about it and what do you know it's here it's here <laughs> And it might be stuck where it is right now. I'm not sure. The tow truck driver, when he was dropping it off, he's like, hey, I just want to make sure I'm dropping this in the right spot. I was like, yeah, just put it on the road. And he goes, you know, it doesn't move, right? Yeah. I was like, yeah, just, just drop it there. It's fine. I'll figure it out. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's going to be a super fun project. Um, it's just going to be a very intense project. <laughs> A while back I said in a video that we were looking for some daycare options for Leo and I literally meant care during the day, not like an actual facility. We want to keep him close, we want to be with him all the time, but we also have a lot of work we have to do and it's just not fair to him to not always have his needs be met right away. So Dana, our good friend, is up here helping us and they're having a great time together, dancing and hanging out outside. <laughs> you want to say hello? Hi! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and in the meantime, these guys are getting set up to start framing to get ready for the big lumber delivery and uh, basically just moving things around in anticipation of some very exciting events later today. I think they're still over there in a big box, aren't they? I think so. We're just looking for our tool bags. It's uh, kind of a mess down here and you know, it's been a while since we got into all that stuff. That's hilarious. You literally don't know where they are. Ah. Brandon's bags. Oh. Man, those look nasty, man. They're like <laughs> dusty. All wrinkly and looking all mildewy. Break them in right. Hey. Oh, oh mine's got drywall mud on it. Really? It's a big moment. Hey, look, right I got here. some nails. Yeah, I know. Like, I think <laughs> I have an Allen wrench. Ah. That'll help. Nice. Crappy chalk box. My pex Ouch. cutters. Oh, that's not a good thing. For each oh, you know what? I was using these to drywall screw. Oh. This, this bag is full of drywall screws. <laughs> yeah. And they're extremely dumb. A pencil. <laughs> I got deck screws in here, a notepad. It's like a treasure chest. Romex staples. <laughs> everything I would need. Now I'm like scrambling for the basics. I don't know where my hammer's at. I bet it's up here somewhere. Ready for ready for action. Yeehaw. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> All right, the time has finally come. We're ready to start framing. We're prepping the foundation. We're gonna start snapping our lines so that we can lay our green plate down. Our lumber has not shown up yet. I'm gonna call BMC and see when they have us on the schedule. Maybe they're already on their way. I don't know, you know, it's 12:15, So hopefully they're here by the end of the day and we can at least start putting our green plate down. Also, we do need to cover all of the lumber with plastic because for the next three days, it's supposed to rain slash snow. And uh, we're, we're basically not gonna be 
able to, I mean, it's the weekend, so it doesn't matter, but it's still gonna like rain and snow and we don't want our lumber to get wet. So we got to cover it with plastic before the end of the day. But Brandon is doing a little bit of sweeping over here, getting the foundation kind of brushed off of all the dirt. We're gonna get our chalk box ready and we're gonna start snapping lines. This is when the fun starts. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's like a really purple marker. <laughs> pretty pretty. <laughs> Remember our concrete friends? Yeah. Carlos. The, the one guy, Carlos? Yeah. yeah. He was so cool. Yeah, I miss him. I thought we were friends and then... <laughs> <laughs> Once never, the job was then done, he never he came off. back. Yeah, yeah what a guy, huh? Okay. Um... I don't really remember what to do now. <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! So we're gonna snap our line over here and then we're gonna use Pythagorean's theorem and we're gonna check for square <laughs> over here and then we're gonna do a parallel line over there, check for square, and then I'm still kind of confused on how we're gonna do anything up on that one, but Kevin said, oh, just use a level. I'm like, got it. <laughs> no idea what that means. <laughs> anyway. So we've uh, adjusted Pythagorean's theorem, or we've, we haven't adjusted it, we're just trying to use it. You're improving his theorem? I'm improving it. I'm actually, <laughs> there's been no improvements until now. Uh, basically, so we've pulled 160 inches this direction, 120 inches this direction, which would make 200 inches if my calculations are correct and this is actually square. To make a long story short, it what you're doing- It might be a hair out of square. Oh no. No, I'm kidding. Okay. It's gonna be perfect. <laughs> okay. It's off. Yeah. By how much? By an eighth. That's okay, that's- <laughs> No, it's not. That's a hair. <laughs> no, it's an not. An eighth and 10 feet is fine, bro. It's not. I would call Kevin and he'd be like, absolutely not, fix that. Call really? Kevin, get him on the horn. Call Kevin. I guarantee he'll say roll with it. It does feel good to just be outside working in the sun. We haven't like gotten the delivery. We're still like kind of just waiting around, but uh, just being out here, getting things ready, the guys putting their work bags on. It's just like that feeling all over again of us starting to build and the excitement and the anxiety and the anticipation and the fun that comes along with it. I'm tired. <laughs> the sun is taking it out of me. Like just no. standing here and like doing all this, I feel like a bum. Actually, it's these bags. They're heavy. I, just, I feel like I walked inside, went into the basement, and on the way out, I was like, this thing's destroying me. Like, I'm already tired. <laughs> Remember when you had bruises on your hips from them yeah. being like so heavy on your... So manly. You need so... the suspenders. Yeah. Yeah. I grabbed them. <laughs> My hips like, are... What? Hey, okay. What was that? There it is. My hips are good. Yeah. forgot about that. Oh, well, it's been a long time since I saw that. Forgot it was even there. I was just like sweeping off the foundation and uh, sweeped up this little corner right here and there's TNA 2020. Aww. Middle of the pandemic. That's right. It's beautiful. That's amazing. Great memories. Did you at least square it up? Uh, yeah, I squared it up. It's not, nice. it's not square. As long as it's close. Yeah, it's like, uh, <laughs> over, wow. over, uh, 200 inches. It's off by like a eighth, 16th or an eighth. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's all right. Said. All right, cool. Hey guys, I've, I've had them off an inch before. Whoa. So. Yeah, yeah, Carlos was a stand-up character. I'm I'm kind of depressed he didn't want to be my friend after he did the concrete, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> It's 
So while we're waiting for BMC to drop off our lumber, these guys are starting to tear into the Tacoma and see what we're working with here. Trent was thinking maybe someone was living in this. The inside is kind of a mess. The window's broken. There's clothing and just like kind of some junk in the back. It's a project on every level possible. Throw away these shoes? Yeah, you want a size 13? No. <laughs> How about some underwear? Oh, <laughs> what? I was like, it smells like rotten crap in here, but it's definitely the garbage. <laughs> wow. You guys almost need respirators to do this. Oh, more undies, yuck. Ew. Curse hat. Ooh. Is it as bad as you were expecting it on the inside? No. It's just gross because you don't know like the person and you don't know what they were doing in there and I can guess. It's like somebody's closet. It's like you don't know what's in there. And then it was just left in a junkyard for however many months. Look at this! Yay! BMC has finally arrived. They've got all of our lumber here. We're gonna show them where to put it. And then, you know, could be the end of the day for us because uh, <laughs> it's about quitting time. So we're probably not gonna get to actually do any framing today, which is very, 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 very disappointing for us and probably for you guys, but the next video. Yeah, we'll be ready to go. We're gonna be building walls like <laughs> it's going out of style. <laughs> You know, Trent, I was a little nervous there for a second as he was getting off all that lumber and driving straight toward our brand new truck. That's a bad place for us to be parked. Yeah. yeah. But I wanted to get everything out of the way so that, you know, he didn't have to worry about anything in the driveway, I but I guess we're in the most inopportune spot possible. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it looks so tight. Is that a truck? <gasps> okay. <laughs> I cannot wait to be building again. It feels so good to like have some progress and just know that like, all right, there's a couple more things we need to get in place, but like we're pretty much ready to start framing the next day we work, which is Monday, today's Friday. And uh, this garage is gonna be, it started out really simple. Obviously we're changing it, of course, that's just us and it's becoming a little bit more complicated than I was expecting, but it's gonna be really cool when it's done. And I think uh, we're gonna have a really good time building it. Without fail, literally like the exact minute that he gets done dropping off wood, it starts to rain. Perfect so timing. We're gonna try and throw some plastic over some of this wood that's susceptible to- uh, Warpage. Absorbing the moisture and hopefully it keeps it dry over the weekend, I don't hopefully know. Hopefully we got enough. Super, super cool. Honestly, the hero of today, has been Dana. She has been so helpful hanging out with Leo. Just like, I want him to be close and I wanna hang out with him all the time, but we also have so much else we need to be focusing on in order to work on the garage. And Dana has been amazing. She's from Cartagena, Colombia, which we also have amazing memories of. And it's been really fun to be able to speak a little Spanish and just know that Leo is in good hands. So oh, thank you, Dana. you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. So cool. <laughs> I think we're gonna let Dana go for the day, enjoy her weekend. Leo and I are gonna help the guys clean things up around here and hopefully it doesn't rain too much. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Hi, baby, baby! Amazing timing today. BMC just took off, Dana just took off. These guys do have enough plastic, it looks like. Maybe I won't speak too soon. Most of the wood is covered already in plastic and uh, the rain is holding off for the time being. I know it's coming. Um, and everybody had a good day! Yeah! I'm just so excited. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, my friends, we are inside now because it has uh, started raining. We did get, you know, most of the bunks covered up with plastic. We actually got Terry back into the spot that she needs to go into. <sighs> Everything else is just gonna get a little wet. I can't complain because Utah's in a state of emergency. We're in a drought. We absolutely need the moisture. It just always comes at inopportune times for us, it feels like, but at least we've got the lumber now. I like that you're still wearing your hat. I'm still wearing my hat inside. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, oh. we had a blast yesterday and today just, I mean, this video was packed full of really exciting things for us. We hope you guys are excited. And in the next video, I swear, we're literally going to start framing. If it wasn't for BMC yeah. taking all day to deliver that, we'd at least have the green plate down. But next I like video. don't even remember. So much happened yesterday that's already like in the back of my mind. Yeah. The, like the van. The van. The truck. The truck. There's just, like, she hasn't even seen the van. I know. In the next video, we're going to see the van. Oh my gosh, there's just too much going on. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios! Oh,